Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 90. And yesterday, if you watched the previous episode, we were going over the Drupal 7 private message module. The Drupal 7 private messages module that we went over yesterday was just the very basic module, just the ability to send and receive private messages between users on the Drupal site. Today we're going to look at all the different sub-modules, or at least a good number of them, that come with the private messages module. But before we get started, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, and you can also go to codekarate.com, which is a site right here, and sign up for the newsletter over here on the left if you have not already. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the private message module installed just from yesterday. We're basically starting right where I left off and I will go ahead and get started. You can see we have the private messages block over here that allows you to easily get to your messages. You can also get to it from this link up here or if you go into my account there's also a messages link so that's how you can get to your messages. But we're going to look at the different modules that we can turn on. In this mail field set you can see there's a whole bunch of them over here. So the first one we're going to turn on is a private message email notification. And I'm just going to go over these very briefly to show you what they can do and how you can start to configure them. I'm not going to be able to go into all of them in complete detail just because there's quite a bit in this list. So we'll go ahead and turn that one on. And now if I come back here, I'll click this configure link. And you can see there's a new area over here and I know I didn't go through all of these different options completely yesterday but they're pretty self-explanatory for these diff these four these first four configuration options this email notify is now new because I turned on the module for email notifications you can say if you want to default notify or not notify new or users of new private messages you can configure the email that gets sent out it also allows you to then come into your account settings or you can allow users to come into their account settings edit the account and in this private messages section select whether they want to receive email notifications you can also with permissions select whether you want them to be able to turn on or turn off private messages a lot of this is all permissions based so you'll have to look at the permissions and just make sure that you have it set up correctly for the different roles on your Drupal 7 website we're next going to go to this block user messages. And this is going to allow users to block other users from sending them messages. So once we get this one turned on, we can come here and click configure. And you can see this actually adds a tab. I've added a rule here that basically says if the author is an administrator and the recipient is an authenticated user, then the user cannot block the author. And you can add a whole bunch of other different types of rules if you need to. But basically you can add rules to make sure that you know maybe certain roles can't send to other roles or maybe certain users should not be able to block other users. So that's the first step is you can configure out the different rules for uh, different ways to block users. And then of course when you come into your messages section there's now a tab for blocked users and here you can select specific usernames you can then block this user if you want they will no longer be able to send you a message it'll let them know that they've been blocked and then you can of course unblock them so that's how that works pretty simple let's go in and check out the next module the private message limits module is another handy one especially if you have a lot of users on your site and you don't want people to take advantage of the private messaging features so we'll come back into the configuration page and there's a limits tab up here basically this one will allow you to set different limits depending on sending and receiving so you can r limit the number of conversations or number of messages per conversation you can limit how many or the total messages or conversations that the user can receive. You can limit either the messages or the conversations and of course set the max. You can also change that for specific roles. If you want administrators not to have a limit, you can set that there, but have authenticators be limited to maybe only you know, 50 different messages. And this is another, this is probably the most important one. 
is you can limit the number of messages that a user can send in a specific time period and that's to prevent users from taking advantage of private messaging and spamming other users on your site so you can limit it to say they can only send five messages in a given time period whether that's an hour or a day or 30 minutes depending on the needs of your website and then you can of course override that by role so you can remove the limit for administrators and then you can also limit how many recipients they can add to the message so they don't add or try to send a message to every user on the site or an extremely large amount of users and of course it's all overridable by role so that's what the private message limits module does we have a couple more we're going to go through quick the private message roles module is the second to last one we're going to go through and this one is another handy one it doesn't necessarily have any configuration but what it does allow you to do is if you come into your messages section on your Drupal site in your account and you go to write a new message you see there's another area here that says you can enter the name of the role to write a message to all users that have that role so I can send to all authenticated users or I can send to all administrators and this is a permissions base so in this case you probably only want to allow admins to have this access but depending on your site's needs you can open it up to other users as well and it allows you to send a private message to everyone in that specific role so it's definitely handy if you make changes to your site or you need to notice or send notices to all users at once we'll go ahead and check out the last one here and this is the private message filter module so this is going to make quite a few changes here to the way that your messages are set up so if I come back to here I don't believe that there's anything else that's added well no I guess there is the tags and we'll go over this here in a second but the rest of it's pretty much the same for configuration options however when I come back to the messages page you can see now I have extra tabs I have my inbox which shows nothing because I've already read all the messages it lists my sent messages and also all my messages And then I still have the blocked users tab from before this one allows you to do a couple things I can filter messages by subject so if I want to search for the subject with test of course I get this one still showing up if I search for something that's not it will not show up you can search by participant so I can search just for the test user that I have conversations going with. You can also save this filter. You can then also apply tags. So I want to apply this test tag to this message. I can apply that. And you can, it allows you to undo that if you need to. But now when I come back here, it allows you to filter by specific tags you can then remove tags if necessary but you can also filter by these so you can think of tags as similar to folders you can organize it if you have specific conversations you want to put in different tags depending on the topics you can do that and all that other page that I, the configuration page for private messages that had the tags on it all that does is list the different tags that are in use and let you know if they're public basically what that means is my tags that I'm creating are only available to me and it tells me how many times this tag's been used there also are ways to I believe make tags public so anyone can use those tags but we won't go over that this time so that's really all there is to those modules we only went through some of the other core ones like blocking user messages email notifications private message filtering the limits and the roles we're not going to go through the real name or rules integration although those are also well built and can be helpful on specific sites so that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal hopefully you learned a little bit about how to enhance just the basic private message module with some of the other additional modules that come with it and how you can build a very flexible private messaging system on a Drupal 7 website as always, follow me on Twitter if you're not already, and we will see you next time with another episode. Thanks for watching.